What's going on, guys? That title is not clickbait. We smashed the six PA accounts uh, into oblivion here with the uh, queues open. Now, I have a couple things to say and go over this. And because with every great explosion of accounts, we have really good learning capabilities, right? So um, we're always the happy trader here. We have no ill will towards anything in the market. This is just what happens, okay? These are standard things. So start the video off. I wanna do a quick little video here. This is of the recording I made and we're gonna get into it after this. X and the accounts. Uh, uh, check this out quick. Here. We're up on account 106, we're up. And not close out, clicking exit, sell market, buy one. Whatever it happens to be, we can't. It's NQ, NQ. We're on everything. I can't get fine. out of any trade of a trades here, and mm -hmm. I'm recording proof of this. There's no way to get out of this at all. And then exit, I refreshed exit, it and exit, it randomly exit. set. See, oh, I didn't refresh, randomly stop, okay. and out, I guess. Um, wow. All right, well, it finally closed out at about 10 minutes of that. And this is the fourth instance. Um, blew up the <laughs> large so accounts crazy. on Apex's <laughs> trade of eight systems here. And that was purely off trade of eight. So again, I could not get out of any position. And this is just another Apex account I have up. <laughs> where it tells you and shows you um, all the scalps that we have here, obviously. And let's see if it no, registers this. another buy. Oh, zero buys. Oh, you see where I put that? <laughs> I, what was I that? bought bid right oh, there. Did you see that? I bought a bid. That position sell okay. six. I put, I put two buy bids down there and it shorted five contracts on NQ. <laughs> buy bids down here. Okay. Did you <laughs> see that? I went buy bid and it randomly filled five shorts. Exit doesn't work again. Order filled. Sell market does. Sell Order ask. filled. Exit Order doesn't work filled. again. And now she starts saying it's working. Right? working. If you notice there, I went buy down here one contract and somehow it netted f minus five. You just seen that. Huge issues right here. Be very careful. Let's, I'm eager to see what Apex has to say about this. And that is correcto. So uh, I, emailed, I emailed Apex about this and I was just curious because in their FAQs, every prop firm, every broker, it doesn't matter if your platform fails, it's not our fault. That That's historical. Everybody's been saying that forever, right? So what do we do in instances like this? Well, we don't really get upset, right? So let's go over the um, the facts of, of what we're really looking at here, right? So here's the deny and explosion accounts, right? Because we love transparency around here. Let me get my thing so I can point tool you guys um, so these are all the accounts and successfully over the course of withdraws now on apex so let's put this into perspective we already have over 20 some thousand dollars coming to the accounts unapproved these accounts exploded um, on the trade of eight only um, we are pro traders here uh, I did not explode any account unfollowing my rules I'm not a windfall trader I don't go all in um, I never max out my contracts either with apex you get four, 14 I think a lot with 100k I never go over five to seven that's that's a max for me so we have really good rules here right if you check my other videos and um, uh, 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 transparency, we were out in the account summary with, I have a total of 10 PA, or eight PA, eight PA accounts. Uh, we have six that we're all paying out here. I have another two PA accounts that have not exploded because we don't group all of them that I have passed all together. But the main takeaway is in only 32, 33 days, I have made $129,000 in pocket on the PA accounts in only 33 days about, right? Without a single red day. So my consistency is always proven. I trade my big accounts live. Um, these prop trading firms, this is not my main source of income. We trade real accounts as well. Uh, very large accounts that we've been trading for, you know, all better half of a decade and a half now. So um, I want to say that um, just because uh, a platform issue and has exploded 60 account, it doesn't mean all that much. And let's talk about why, because the $2,500 we've already gotten out of all these approvals, plus um, commission base, we're actually over 20 some thousand dollars green for January, right? And if that money doesn't actually exist yet, because you can only get paid out in $2,500 increments, wasn't really a loss until it's a loss, right? And we have two other P accounts that are growing are going to be wet, ready for withdrawal here on February 1st. So um, or March 1st, I'm sorry. Yeah, March 1st. So our February bonuses now got kind of taken away. We still got our commission bonuses and some other stuff, but it is what it is. That's a market platform error, right? And we have proof of that error um, of messing up. And again, I emailed Apex about it just to see if they would do something for their members, right? So I'm really curious to see what Apex says about uh, the approval records and I have multiple of them. We've had multiple members in the discord with trade of eight issues that morning as well that messaged me. So I got a lot of comments and proof and a lot of screenshots coming in from that. Um, and these blown accounts, uh, unfortunately, we suffered. So the blowout happened 
here at the open, we have this mega wash. We had a really good zone support here. We had been holding uh, uh, prior all-time high uh, doji and prior day dojis. So we had some really big supports rolling up here as we got in. I took just a couple NQ in the ads and it broke down. I'm like, okay, maybe we get a POC bounce, um, something relative uh, to a, a overheat right here. So we had some really good indicators starting to turn around right at that like 433, 432. We had... Um, bunch of Fibonacci's from pre-market uh, leveling up 433 as well as support and then she obviously just she tanked out which that's what the market does man this is uh this is I've seen this you know millions and millions of times and it's as myself as a trader um this is another big reason you need to utilize stops if the platform works and um you know just take the data time and don't over leverage and I didn't over leverage here at all you know five six seven contracts on the bounce point and we got a little bit of a bounce right here started to get out and I was like two, three grand right across the accounts, no big deal, but seven, seven all the way back down. That was like, it, it wiped the whole accounts, all of them. There's like 18,000, $19,000 in profit, ended up in red and it closed out early because their systems are not that accurate as far as closeouts going, but it, it, it's water under the bridge. It doesn't matter, right? We trade real accounts. This is not a big deal. Um, on the apex is because of that $2,500 minimum payout, right? Um, yeah, it sucks that it didn't go to the 90 day. Sure. Um, we could have pulled out hundreds of thousands of dollars or whatever. And oh, well, a platform issue wiped us out. This is a part of trading. Okay. This is a part of your psychology and mentality. A pro trader is defined in how he handles these red days, platform issues and psychological hurdles, right? So I'm not sitting here upset and, and freaking out and mess up. I'm like, okay, well, was the profit really real? No, but we're, we're still green. I, I've I think I've invested a little over five or 6,000 with discounts on Apex accounts, testing, poking, prodding the systems, testing everything about the Apex funded traders. And we've pulled out 24,000 plus. So are we down? No, we're green, almost $20,000 from January. And it's literally only February 17th. We did 130 some thousand dollars in literally only 32, 33 days with a 100% consistency, no red days. That speaks for itself. So I'm not going to be upset. So I'm going to give um, Apex another chance here with Trade of A because that's you know, a platform issue and I'm going to make some adjustments like I always do and get a couple more accounts here most likely because we're obviously fat in the green and um, we're not really worried about that stuff. And let's talk about um, the market a little bit here as an update, okay? So on the SPY, I've been calling the top for the last couple of weeks here. This is about the last week or two we were looking for here um, on Z Market. Where's the daily? There we go. So I wanted to bring up a couple of different instances here on SPY. And we said we had a couple of different Fibonacci over unders. We had max extensions here, 261. If it does not go over 502, uh, 33, um, after that gap, we will fail the doji body right here of all time high. So I have this light teal level right here. And this was a big one for my private group that we had ran in. You can see what I mean here. So this is an all-time high doji body. We had that massive squeeze up there Thursday for no reason. Uh, and then we just had this big wash uh, ahead of the holiday weekend, which obviously we've seen coming. We've been talking about the top coming into here because of the weekly and daily and VIX um, for a bit now. It's just coming, right? So we have long-term contracts over 60, 70, 70 days left on options contracts on shorts on swings they're a little red right now it doesn't matter to me three thousand four thousand bucks something like that and i keep adding into these because we have lots of time lots of role in a very large account to manage these trades correctly now with the washout that we have here we have a lot of things coming up here that are like super exciting for how much money we're gonna make on the, on the downside correction we're calling for anything after february 10th to about the end of march for a nice pullback not depression not great um massive dump but a good pullback right we're ranging into some of these uh uh, uh, standard deviation indicators where we usually, oh, it was the intraday, there we go. Uh, we usually get a um, rejection of which is a great pullback. This is a daily standard deviation plus one hit right here. And that deviation has not been hit for a very long time on the daily one year charts. If I go to the one year one day, it will give me, oh, they're not on for this chart, but this is the weekly. But it would give you if I had them selected the top of this day right here. The first time you push up into a, a plus one deviation on a yearly chart, let's get this a little less messy. Oop, not the right one. There we go. So when we see stuff here push into deviation, we usually have abrupt reactions. The last time we had a first deviation tag in a year and started pushing out there, we had some pretty volatile pushdowns. It's usually that first tag, right? And then the second one, it comes back. Let's take a peek here. Bonk right on the deviation, huge reaction down. And then it came into uptrend and obviously the bottom of the market, so on and so forth, for many other reasons that we're not going to get to in this video. But deviation first tag hits cause very good pullback. So a daily plus one deviation because we shied it back here. The run wasn't done yet. Buying all the dips, all the dips, all the dips in sequence. And now it's starting to give you these signals last month of buyer beats coming in, right? Big old seller candles. And then the weekly and this guy 
bam. Right here is giving us a really good reading um, on a hot weekly turnover. Just starting to go dark green here. Got a little bit of a, that's not the worst candle in the world. I've seen worse weekly candles, but a little bit of a downturn here. And we don't have any volume beats yet. So we know the big move is coming down first. The volume beat is where we're starting to see closed weekly volume above the green. So we want a big red candle on the weekly developed higher than these green guys, right? So everything is still intact with the shorts. I just wanted to mention on that. Um, and now we're still managing these shorts and in, in, in profile plays and um, everything like that for a private group. So um, just a transparency update on the apex there. Um, no hard feelings one bit. We're still mega green from them and we get to restart and I'll give it one more chance before I, you know, test that other stuff or just go back to trading our big accounts uh, day in, day out. So apex has uh, contacted me as well about uh, the live trading opportunities and all this other stuff before the platform exploded. So they do recognize good traders. They do uh, a very good job at a lot of stuff. So I'm very eager to see what they say about the uh, accounts and I'll give you guys an update as always to see if anything gets handled with a platform freeze that we can prove we have multiple instances and again in the FAQ and write-ups they're probably going to say absolutely there's nothing we can do it was a, a system error well it is what it is you know like we're not going to get upset about that there's not a mega conspiracy theory going on about us you know making too much money too fast for apex just kidding for the tinfoil hat but um yeah, that'll be up for uh, that'll be up for the uh, update today. So uh, we're gonna get into some volume profiles and some other watchful looks here as we downturn. I'm gonna cover some stocks in the next video, so stay tuned for the next.